Mr. Travis. It had better be a goddamn emergency. You know this is my... I'd be honored, Mr. T. God bless you. Let's get it together, bitches. That was the man. It's not every day I get to kill the legend. You are now entering the Dexter Industries Research Facility, where the top minds of science and technology strive to make the impossible possible. Dexter Industries. Where the magic happens.
going on? What? What? Who, who's there? Who's there? Ellis? Ellis, is that you? Oh, oh thank God. I feared they had blown your cover, too. Oh. You, you were right. There's a lab down below. I, I saw a girl. Pretty? Reddish-brown hair. They, they were doing tests. The, the head scientist, uh, Ashford, uh, Valentine, and uh, Green. Green. Yeah, I, I took pictures. They're over there. Ellis? Ellis, you, you still there? Man, come on. Get, get me out of here. What? What's wrong with you? Don't leave me here! Ellis! Ellis! I am getting closer. This is the black heart of Dexter Industries. Part of me dreads what I might find down here. Human experiments. Children as weapons. All the more reason to pull the plug. I will find Victoria and destroy all data that Dexter's researchers might have uncovered. This ends here. Pig hater, all right. 
Supposedly, there was this incident back in the early 70s. Nasty business. The way I hear it, Dr. Green, he's 12 years old, right? Growing up on a farm in Nebraska. One night, some deranged lunatic breaks into the house while his parents are out of town. Yeah, the whole thing is just straight out of a horror flick. The guy knocks the babysitter into a coma and throws Dr. Green and his kid sister into the swine hold so he can pillage the house or whatever. Pigs are hungry, aggressive. Those huge rural hogs, you know? All fangs and muscles. When one charges his sister, Dr. Green manages to kill it, you know, like kill the thing with a rake, but then it collapses on top of him and it pins him down, you know? The girl's too small to pull him free, so they spend two days down there. And when the cops finally find him, his foot needs to be amputated. Yeah. Jesus, are, are you kidding me? I mean, oh, I can't believe I'm going to say this about Dr. Green, but poor guy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah he's still a jerk, though. But whatever. It's supposed to be right below our feet. They were talking about it in the shower with guards. I don't know. They were calling it the Omega facility. Huh. C come on. The Omega facility? Are you kidding? <laughs> that sounds like an airport novel. Yeah, well, that's what they said. When the body of a senior CIA analyst is pulled from the Boston Harbor, a freelance reporter, Josh Rogan, his own demons, always with him, stumbles upon a secret file that exposes the shadowy government branch known only as the Omega. Would you shut up? Kids got Finish some band recital things. But who are you gonna bet on tonight? Sanchez, man. I always go for the underdog. Sanchez and underdog? There's an odd mix of words. I used to be a patriot, man, but let's face it, he's past his prime. Huh? I got a feeling our boy Sanchez is gonna eat him for breakfast. Security. Do you? No, you don't, do you? So stop it!
the hell is that? Yeah, I know that face. Hear this? Steven got his security clearance upgraded. Yeah, he's allowed into the silo now. Huh. Really? You, uh, ask him what's going on down there? Or? I, I did ask, but they made him sign a phone book worth of legal papers. I'm telling you. Unbelievable. You know what? I'm gonna sneak in there. It's just behind the door. I don't care if it's childish. I mean, I wanna see. I'm gonna pretend I didn't hear that, okay? This has been the shittiest fucking month, but tonight is going to be the best day of my life. Sanchez will fucking rock the house, I'm sure. I fucking know it. Can you feel it? Yeah, I know what you mean. It's going to be killing Oh, yeah, baby. bother you. The guy can be a bit harsh, but hey, that's geniuses for you. They tend to lack a few social skills. Too bad he's so obsessed with weaponry. I mean, a brilliant guy like that? Imagine if he dedicated himself to curing cancer or something. I know, I know, but like father, like son, I suppose. His old man was an army general. Yeah, first assault line in Normandy, Medal of Honor, special advisor to the White House, the whole shebang. And the way I hear it, the guy was a total gun nut. When other boys got a car for their 16th birthday, young Dr. Valentine got an RPG launcher. Yeah. His only other obsession is finding a cure for his own baldness. Huh. He's got range. You gotta give him that.
I saw. They brought her down yesterday. Pretty young girl. Mr. Dexter was here too. Yeah, yeah, in person. He was talking to those eggheads for a long time. I've never seen Dr. Ashford so fired up. Something's going on, that's for sure. Hey, so, uh, I'll see I'll you at the, the fight? fight? Great, great, yeah. Yeah, sure, later.
damage is too easy. See these scorch marks? I want a concentrated beam. Something so precise, it will stop a heart without leaving a mark. Sweet, Mary, Joseph, I should have done these tests. Talk to someone else. Again, gentlemen. I don't know where you graduated from, but you should write them and get your goddamn. Ah! Oh! 
No one's gonna get through. Yep, the bridge is up. You can move the cargo. Got it. I'm already on top of it. No need to worry. That's right. All right. All right. Bye. Hey, don't let it bother you, okay? The guy just barged in. The goddamn mountain. What was I supposed to do? Take a swing at him? Hey, nobody expects you to stand up to Sanchez. Least of all, Dr. Ashford. After all, he practically created him. How do you think Sanchez became Mr. Dexter's bodyguard? He's been experimenting on that Why was I down here since he was a child. Oh, oh, oh. practically oh, bought it from an orphanage in Tijuana. Yeah, Sanchez. those crazy muscles of his? Bar did. They took off with the girl. Said the, the lab might be compromising. <laughs> Something about Mr. Dexter's son is to get that out. Ridiculous. This is just an excuse to hawk her like a piece of merchandise. Easy money. That's all Blake Dexter cares about. Fifteen years of bioengineering. And I have never seen test results like hers. Not even close. Sir, forgive me, sir. But I have no idea what Never you are talking about. Never you are dismissed. Sorensen! Move ahead with the scheduled tests. Get me the board of directors. We'll see about this. I'm telling you, management is going too far. Drifters and crazy? Okay, that's one thing. We're talking about a young girl here. Someone else. Take a look. Spooky. <laughs> it's probably nothing. Fine. Better be as strong as that. Died of cardiac arrest after only two doses. If we can't get vagrants in stronger shape, we need to consider importing. Isotope level is
Are the subjects being prepped? Yes, sir. As we speak. Fine. These better be a stronger batch. Number 26 died of cardiac arrest after only two doses. We can't get vagrants in stronger shape. Consider importing. <laughs> Show's over, boys. Let's go on. Of this lab could already be worth untold millions. 